These are Dean's connectors. Now, Dean's connectors are probably the most common battery connector in the RC world today. So today I'm going to show you how I solder them. There are a few ways to solder these connectors, but I'm going to show you the way that I believe is, or at least has worked the best for me. What you're going to need is just the basic stuff, the connector, some wire, this is just some 12 gauge silicone wire from Hobby King, some heat shrink tubing, uh, like 4, 5, or even 6 millimeter tubing should work fine. It all depends on the type of wire you're using. I think this is 5 or 6 millimeter tubing, but can't be sure. Some 6040 rules and core solder, this is great stuff. Some sort of jig to hold your connector in when you solder it. This one I bought from Hobby King for about $4, and it actually has a little slot to hold the Dean's connector uh, vertically, as you can see there, and also horizontally. And uh, I use a block of wood just to cut the wire on, stuff like that. And then I'm using my trusty old uh, Hakko 936 soldering station. Ignore the uh, Team Checkpoint sticker, it's just rebranded. But it's a great station, highly recommend it. And I have it set to around 750 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I have a homemade fume extraction fan, venting all the toxic gas out my window. It's actually not toxic, it just makes you cough. The first thing we're going to do is strip and tin our wire. Now, I use a knife for stripping wires, but wire strippers work probably better. But this is just easier in my opinion. Just roll the knife back and forth a couple times. And then the wire or the silicone should pop right off, like that. And then to tin the wire, we're just going to heat the wire up and feed solder into it, like so. That's pretty good. When it comes time to solder your connector, you're going to want to hold your connector in the jig. Now I like to plug two connectors together, hold one connector in the jig, and work on the other connector. That way if the plastic starts to soften up on the connector I'm working on, it's not going to get deformed by the jig because it's not being uh, squeezed by anything. The next thing you're going to want to do is pre-tin your tabs. So to do this, just apply a little bit of solder to your soldering iron, like that. Touch that to your tab and just fill the tab up with a little bit of solder. You don't need to go overboard here. Just about like that. This next step is very important. You want to cut a little bit of heat shrink tubing, about that long, I'm not even going to go into the exact lengths, just enough to cover up the solder joint and then a little bit more, and just slip it on the end of your wire, because once you solder this on here, you don't really have access to the end of this wire anymore, and likely not the other end either. What we want to do here is heat both the wire and the tab up at the same time, and then once the solder on both of them are molten, we're just going to move everything around, put the solder and iron on top of the two, and just hold it together for a couple seconds and remove the heat. I'm just going to pre-tint both sides of my iron, and here we go. Heat both of them up. Wire usually takes a little bit longer. And the tab. And one, two, there we go. So hopefully you can see that there. It's a really nice looking joint. We'll just do the exact same thing with the red wire on the other tab and uh, shrink the heat shrink tube in on and we're going to be done. Go ahead and take a Jet Flynn lighter and just shrink on your heat shrink tubing. If you have a heat gun that works too, but not everybody has one, so I'm just going to use a lighter. You have to be careful that you don't melt the Dean's connector. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's a Dean's connector that will not come undone anytime soon. Hopefully that was uh, helpful, and now you know how to solder Dean's connectors. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.